Let's now consider a question of ethics, a question that falls in the topic of value. And one way we can get at it is to uh, set up a scenario. Imagine you're the only one left in the classroom. This is another class, not your philosophy class. And on your way out, your professor drops a $100 bill. As I said, you're the only one in the classroom. You know that there are no cameras. Nobody will see. Nobody will know what happens. If you pick that $100 up and put it in your pocket, nobody will ever know. If you don't pick it up, somebody else is probably going to pick it up. Question is, what what you do or what should you do? What is the morally right thing to do? And the critical issue is not so much what ought you to do, even though it's a very important question of ethics, but the question is, why should you do that? How do you justify or what justifies deciding what the right thing to do in that case is? Now, we're not going to spend a lot of time on this because we teach whole courses just on ethics. But I just want to mention that one of the issues that we've just raised is the problem of justifying a moral standard. That is, what makes a certain action a right or wrong? Maybe you think that you ought to return the $100 to the professor. Or maybe you think it's perfectly okay you know, not to, to, to return it. Either way, what makes the action right or wrong? And various answers have been posed. Some think it's God. God's commandments. We have the Ten Commandments. Something known as the Divine Command Theory. Some people say, well, what makes something right or wrong? The fact that it puts me in the best situation, which is a theory in ethics called egoism. Some people say what makes it right or wrong is the, are the standards. And this is probably one of the most popular answers. The cultural standards, the society standard, and the society that you live in. Now, with regard to this question, one of the most common answers about what makes actions right or wrong, why should you give it back? because you're giving it back will create the maximum amount of pleasure and minimize pain for everybody. It's a view called utilitarianism. And another view is that there you have certain duties. That is, there are certain principles that can be derived and from those principles you derive or rules you derive your duties what you have to do and how you have to and this is a view called deontology from the Greek word deon has to do with rules and one final answer is that what you do conforms to rules that people in your society have agreed upon. That is, you have a contractual obligation to do that. These are some, and there are more theories than this, but these are some of the major theories to explain justifying moral standard. We're not going to spend a lot of time on that, on them, because we do teach a course just on ethics, and you can see that there's quite a lot to discuss about there. And let's turn now to quickly, I, I, I should mention that there are also questions of applied ethics, questions, for example, about abortions, or in particular questions come up lately, are late-term abortions morally permissible? Forget about what the law allows, the law doesn't allow them, but there's a question, should they be made legal? Are they morally and Part of that decision should be based on whether they're morally permissible or no. it's morally permissible or it's not morally permissible to perform such abortions. And finally, a sub branch of ethics, as I said, political philosophy. And political philosophy asks questions what do you owe society? 
should you be forced into military service, conscripted? Or should you be forced to pay for less fortunate, poorer people? If you have money, you have to pay for poor people. If you have little money, you pay for even poorer people. For food, for medical care, medical care for their education. Then the question is, what does society owe you? Protection, police protection, the protection of an army, birth control. We now call that women's reproductive rights. Does, does is the government obliged to give you birth control? Other questions, like other issues, education, medical, uh, medical care, etc. And underlying a lot of these questions is the question of. What is the just form? What is the best form of government or the just form of government? Some of the basic questions of political philosophy. And obviously the key, key issue here is not just what the answer is, but why.